Hi, this is Jonah with Sweet Honey Coat, and today we're going to take a look at the true or false meta fields here on our Shopify admin. And so I'm going to go right to that. As you can see, I have this set up. So we're going to click on this and take a look at how I have this set up here. So let's click on that. As you can see, I have my name. Here's the name, space, and key, which I want to write down, and that is a true or false meta field, which is perfect. So we're going to go back a few steps. And so what I want to do is go over to my products and update my test product here so I can see this in action. So I'm going to go to my test product, scroll on down here, and update it so it says true. That way we can verify this is working and click save. Perfect. So I've already gone ahead and I've added code to a theme here on Shopify so you can see how this works. We're going to go right to my online store down to the debut theme and go right into edit code. So where I want to be is the product dash template dot liquid. Now this is just for the debut theme. Of course, everything's different. So as I scroll down, we can see the section of code that I've already written. It's an if else and end if statement. So it's basically checking that field to see if it's absolutely true. And we use a double equals here, which is very important because a double equals is where it it's the operator. So it's saying it's absolutely true. If you do a single equals, then you're assigning it. So because it's going to test for true, it's going to show yes. Otherwise, it's going to say no. So we're going to go preview this theme, go right over to the test product. So now that's set up. We can see it's refreshed and it's looking smooth. This is awesome. This concludes this tutorial on using the true or false meta fields. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to hit a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on how you see yourself using this field. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.